Netflix, the on-demand internet streaming site behind the House of Cards, went home almost empty-handed. It won just a single award for The Orange is the New Black, despite being nominated in 13 categories. But the question is, does it mean that traditional TV still dominates over companies that put their shows on the internet? And someone here who knows a little bit about this, Owen Furcloth. Good evening, Phil. Phil, in 2011, just a few years, in fact, after Netflix had been launched, the company lost almost half its market value amid initial concerns that the company simply wouldn't survive. I think it'd be quite hard to find those kinds of disbelievers now. If we take a look at Netflix compared to a channel, a rival like HBO, that's responsible for a number of critically acclaimed dramas. You can see the numbers stacking up. For example, HBO has 114 million subscribers worldwide. Netflix at the moment has fewer than half that. But the two companies have similar kind of subscriber numbers here in the United States. But it's after that that the numbers start to diverge. Now, earlier this year, Netflix just pipped HBO in terms of revenues. Both of these companies earned around $1.1 billion, but Netflix just had the edge, just has the edge. But it's here in the share price that investors are really beginning to take notice. Netflix's share price is some six times higher than that of Time Warner. That's the parent company of HBO. Now, one constraint for a company like uh, uh, Netflix is that uh, many people around the world uh, have to pay to watch their shows on cable TV subscription, or at least they have to sit down uh, and watch them, unlike uh, traditional TV operators. Now, Netflix doesn't have to do that. We're talking here, of course, about a generation of cord cutters. These are the people watching television on anything but television these days. That's tablets, mobile phones, uh, even their computers, and streaming the content online. Now, Netflix is winning the war there, at least on subscriptions. Most of the time is subscription services around half what traditional TV cable operators ch charge, uh, charge their viewers to watch them. Now, it's true that HBO is quickly catching up. It's adapting uh, to, uh, it's adapting it's adapting in a way that other traditional carriers aren't. Here in the United States, for example, you can sometimes have those specific channels as part of your internet plan without a cable subscription. 